closer, so I'm going to get you in the shot. When you're just a French woman living somewhere in the south of France, and then you hear that uh, the FBI is uh, investigating, well, you can imagine it's a shock <laughs> for us. FBI is such a huge institution, so uh, working for, for me, little thing in France, uh, it was, it, it, it's a lot of emotion because you, you really realize how people are, are concerned about what happened because it's so easy just to, to say, okay, it's the past. Okay, we'll never forget. We don't have, we, we can't forget, forget. But it's very important that uh, uh, we, me, as a, a human being, as a, a Jewish person, to consider that you have people who work for, for, for the justice. My feeling it was a uh, huge emotion, but to be honest, not specially for the, the painting, but for all what it means. And uh, bring me back when I was uh, a young girl living with my, my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother and her brother. So that, that means, it's, it means it's more the symbol of the life I had with them and the symbol of the justice after the, the huge work everybody um, did to, to be this day to day possible. Since 2010, Madame Solitzer has actively sought to recover the stolen works from her grandfather's collection. When Madame Solitzer learned in 2013 that Du Femme was being put up for auction at Christie's, she made a claim for the work. After an investigation by my office and the FBI, the purported owner of the work voluntarily agreed to relinquish its claim to the Du Femme, and as a result, we are able to return the painting to Madame Solitzer today.